Ik weet niet hoe laat en halal die. And of course, we're going to have a spectacular sporting weekend, loving so much sport on a Friday morning. Lest we forget, Formula One also returns now, heading to the Canadian Grand Prix this weekend. And this Montreal race is where the cars are usually pushed to their absolute limit with lots of long straights, big stops with hard braking zones, very fast circuits, fast low downforce circuit as well. One of the driver's favorites, undoubtedly, and it's not difficult to understand why to talk us through what he expects um, from this weekend's action. Motoring journal and good mate of ours, Tiro Di Siena, joins us via Skype this morning. Very good morning, Tiro. First of all, where are you, bro? To everybody at home, I have traveled to the Monticello Race Circuit, which is just behind me here on the east coast of the United States of America, for the launch of a new performance car from Bavaria, which will be reaching South Africa later this year. Wow, man. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's hop across uh, the U.S. border now. Um, this circuit, the drivers absolutely love it. What makes the circuit in Montreal so special in your mind? So the circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal is one of the prettiest circuits on the calendar, especially from that. a distance. The aerial shots of the circuit are very, very beautiful. And the thing is, there's such a vibe in Montreal at this time of year. It's summer and all of the locals have come out of a very long hibernation during winter. So there's a great atmosphere at the circuit. The drivers really, really seem to love it. And it is one of the longest standing circuits on the F1 calendar. So it has an enormous amount of history. It's been on the calendar pretty much nonstop since 1961, which makes it one of the longest serving racetracks in Formula One's very, very long and illustrious history. So much of that history, those moments of drama relating to the wall of champions, um, that is certainly a constant threat. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Now, the circuit has become famous for something nicknamed the Wall of Champions, which you'll find in the final corner of the circuit. And it's nicknamed that because, well, a lot of Formula One champions have met with that wall involuntarily. And, of course, we're hoping that this weekend the wall doesn't add to its tally. Um, so the last time we spoke, obviously, we had just come out of a drama-filled Monaco and then the Formula One circuit is now heading to the very popular Montreal circuit in Canada um, this weekend. Where do we stand now with the current standings for the teams and the drivers? So going into the Canadian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton is leading the standings. However, he's not even one full race win worth of points away from his teammate Valtteri Bottas. So theoretically, Bottas could leapfrog Lewis this weekend to lead the championship if Lewis finished outside the points or failed to finish. And that would mean that we have a new championship leader, of course, from Mercedes-Benz as well. Max Verstappen is in fourth just behind Sebastian Vettel in his Ferrari. They're very, very close and they could swap positions too. And the rookie Charles Leclerc is actually having a decent year despite all his really bad luck and bad decisions from his team and he's in fifth place. Now I have to make special mention of Daniel Ricciardo. He made a weird decision to leave Red Bull and move to Renault and he is having a nightmare of a season. He only has eight points and he is in 13th place on the log. Um, so I suppose the big question, do you expect uh, Mercedes-Benz to continue their current form and domination in Canada? So Mercedes-Benz technically has the faster car, but only by a very tiny fraction. And, well, Canada is a lot faster than Monaco. Okay, anywhere is faster than Monaco, but Canada is quite a quick circuit. And I think Ferrari's straight line speed is going to put them right on the backsides of those mercedes Benzes. And I do expect Max Verstappen to be in the mix as well in his Red Bull Honda. Um, so, buddy, at the heart of all of this, what is Mercedes doing right that the, uh, Ferrari is not? The thing about Mercedes-Benz at the moment is no one can beat them mentally. You really have to give them credit for being absolutely consistent this season and being consistently excellent. And the thing about Ferrari is that yes, their car is slightly slower and they will improve it. They have to improve it. Of that, I have no doubt. However, their mental game just seems to be absolutely all over the show at the moment. And where they are particularly weak is making strategy calls during the race. So if you look at Monaco, what happened with Charles Leclerc in qualifying, it was heartbreaking for him. It was his home race, his first time racing at home in a Formula One car. And Ferrari made a terrible decision during qualifying, which left Leclerc in 15th place on the grid and with an impossible task to make it to the front of the field. So that's where Ferrari really needs to make improvements. They have to find a way to gel better as a team. They have to find a way to make better decisions. And I think it's actually a leadership problem at Ferrari right now.
Oh, thanks so much, buddy. Thanks uh, for joining us on the other side of the world. Hopefully the jet lag hasn't hit you uh, too high and too severe, but wishing you very safe travels, uh, my friend. To America is not easy. These are some of the longest flights I've ever been on, but I'm having a great time in the States. And I really look forward to being back in South Africa with all of you in studio. Enjoy the race on Sunday. Cheers. Uh, thank you so much. So, so, of course, from Montreal, then next week on the 23rd of June, we move to the French Grand Prix circuit, Paul Ricard in France. Um, Lewis Hamilton, of course, the reigning champ for that particular circuit. But I have a feeling this is going to be a special race for Lewis. So watch this space. We'll see you on the other side of the break. You watch this space. We'll see you now.